static pause. That should slow him down. Well, it should if I can get a bead on the cab, but the trailer keeps blocking my line of fire. Any other ideas? It's one. It's gonna be messy. That's uh, Viper One, Outfit Zero. Figures. I send you out on a simple performance test and you find a crime. A hijacking tonight, an armed robbery two days ago. Hey, can I help it if I can't turn a corner without running into trouble? I called an anonymous tip in the Metropole. There should be a couple squad cars on the way. Okay, well, you know what they say about discretion and valor. I'm out of here. Husband and father, I share the concerns of every family in the city. That's why the Cassidy Urban Foundation, in addition to its health programs, provides daycare and job training. I want the foundation to be more than just a band-aid on the city's troubles. Mr. Cassidy, I have to tell you, it's refreshing to meet a successful entrepreneur like yourself to whom public service is obviously a genuine priority. <laughs> well, I don't measure my success by stock portfolios and bank accounts. You see, I started the foundation because after pulling myself up off the streets, I wanted to give something back to the community. Excuse me. Yes. Again? Oh, hold on. Would you excuse me for a moment? I've got to take this call. Of course. Nick, please. People, let's step out for a minute, all right? That'll be fine. Our Cuban friends were expecting those computer parts. How do you know it was Astro who stopped the Tetsuo shipment? We were supposed to be better than some ex-con in a muscle car. All right. I've been doing a great deal of thinking on this problem, and I may have a solution. I have found a vehicle that can chase down that damned automobile. But it lacks a driver. I need Eric Van Hook. So you get him out of jail. And my solution will also need a programmer. I want you to arrange a contract with the Nevelsons because they can be trusted. I want the Viper off the streets once and for all. The day after tomorrow. A time when criminals rule the city. The only weapon that can stop them needs a driver. A man without a memory can be supplied with me. I've got a little cosmetic fine-tuning. He'll be our driver. Let's initiate changeover. Three, two, one. Activate. The most wanted man on wheels is about to change sides. Now, against a corrupt system, a lone fight for justice. Viper is taking back the streets. Now, before you decided to take on those hijackers last night, we were attempting to test a new fuel mix. Did it make a difference? Yeah, I cut a few seconds off the acceleration. You know, why Detroit hasn't beaten a path to your door, I'll never know. <laughs> I'm not much of a company man, so here I am, paired up with a vigilante. Ah, but think of the job security. Yeah, security, huh? I've been thinking about that lately. Am I endangering my family being a part of this? Look, 
I'm not gonna lie to you. The guys like the outfit got a long reach. For as long as they think you're just a bitter ex-police technician who had his car stolen, you'll be okay. Yeah. What happens when they find out I'm still involved? We don't let them find out. How much does Mara know about all this? I don't keep secrets from my wife. About the kids? Well, Lucy's too young to understand, and Ronnie's aware that I work a lot of nights with you. I haven't told her the whole story, but she's smart. She'll figure it out soon enough. What about the world at large? I mean, maybe you need a legitimate cover. I need a legitimate job. Since I left Metropole, I've been living off the couple patents I own. The checks are far from regular. I can help you out. Thanks, but the stash from your criminal days is better spent keeping the Viper maintained. Besides, I got my pride, you know. I hadn't noticed. Actually, I've been thinking of setting up a research and development company. That way I got a front and a paycheck. And you, you got the outfit and the cops on your tail. How about a front of your own? I was Michael Payton, now I'm Joe Astor. Last thing I need is a third identity to confuse things. I want to lead as normal and uncomplicated life as possible, considering the circumstances. Oh, speaking of which, Mara's gonna really dog me if I'm late again. Hey, Julian. If, uh, if you want out, uh, I understand. Somebody's got to take a stand. Try to make things better. Besides, without me, you'd have the Viper wrapped around a light post within 10 minutes. I'd have to kill you myself. Thanks, man. <laughs> hey, look, you want that normal life? Come by my house Friday night. Dinner with my family is about as normal as it gets. <laughs> need those impound reports before the turn of the century waters? Hey, cool your jets, Nash. I'm checking my email. Fabulous, huh? I'm tied into a worldwide network of dealers, mechanics, and enthusiasts who provide me with any support that I may require. Beware the Jabberwock, my son, the jaws that bite, the claws that catch. Beware the jump, jump bird and shun the frumious bandersnatch. What the hell is that? Junk email, if you will. Easily 86. Now, the impound files for the last month. Done. Hey, listen, I got a couple of tickets ringside for the all-girl tractor pull at the Metro Coliseum tonight. Sorry, Waters, I'm restuccoing my apartment. Pity. Another evening, perhaps. Not in your lifetime. Yeah, well, what about uh, the afterlife? Huh? Hey, you don't. I am a very spiritual guy. Mr. Cassidy, the Neville sons are here. Thank you, Fiona. Send them in. Arnie, Iris, thank you for flying in on such short notice. Well, if Lane Cassidy calls, how can we refuse? <laughs> Iris, you look sensational. Well, thank you for noticing. Take a hint, Arnie. So, how's your golf game these days, Lane? Not bad. Shall we get down to business? The Viper and its driver have been putting a dent in my business. Joe Astor's an elusive character, I'll give him that. We've no idea where that blasted car disappears to, or if Astor works alone, or even if he's secretly allied with some law enforcement agency. However, there is a man who has information that we need to put this automobile in the scrapyard. 
I want you to persuade him to work for us. So who would we... And who is the object of our attentions? The Viper's designer, Julian Wilkes. No, I'll get it. I'm the quickest. <laughs> Great meal, Mara. Thanks for having me over. Oh, you're welcome anytime, Joe. You know, you seem uneasy tonight. Something bothering you? No. She's got a great family. I can't even remember mine, let alone whether we were happy. What if I have kids? I don't think so. Not enough worry lines. What do you want? Can I tell you something? I have a problem of some magnitude, Julian, that only your expertise can solve. Mara, you look absolutely lovely tonight. Thank you. Joe, always a pleasure. Man, I am going off my nut with this thing. Ooh, may I? Not bad. Needs one more egg. Frankie. OK. A stupid virus shut down the whole motor pool network. All the department computers are down and everybody blames me. The worst thing is that lousy rhyme. What the heck? What's a uh, frumious bandage snatch anyhow? You caught the Jabberwocky. No big deal. Yeah, it's basically harmless. It won't destroy your hard drive, just blocks access to it. Well, how do I dump it? I mean, filling out forms in longhand makes me feel like a genuine primitive. No comments, you. I think I got a disinfectant disc around here somewhere. I know where it is, Dad. Smart kid. Yeah, she gets that from my side of the family. <laughs> I heard that. Hey, I gotta go. Thanks. Oh. Uh, catch you guys later. All right, man. See you, Joe. <laughs> so, I'll overlook you not inviting me to dinner and accept a piece of cake. You got a fork? I dropped that title when I resigned the force, remember? Deal you will do. Deal you? You're following me. Deal. Why? Well, I was curious to see what you and Wilkes had done with the Viper since you liberated it. Curious or suspicious? Well, that's a fair question. There were some non-believers among us, but you've convinced us that you're on our side. Our side? After I quit Metropole, I was approached by a group of citizens concerned with the outfit's influence in the state. Now, their identities are kept secret, but they call themselves the Consortium. Sounds like a department store. Join us. We can help you. The Consortium can smooth over things with the police, let you concentrate on the real problem, the outfit. Look, good. Delia. Uh, you know I don't respond well to authority, and neither does Julian. But we don't want you under our authority. You can always refuse to help us. But we're fighting the same enemies, Joe, for the same goal. Hmm. You can reach me at any time. That card will patch you through. The line is scrambled on both ends. Take it over. Thanks. Don't ever sneak up on me like that again. You sprung me, now what? Now you do me a favor, Van Hook. You've heard of the Viper, right? Yeah, they scrapped the project. After I left the force, they couldn't find another man to handle the car. Negative. The Viper was completed, and then stolen by Michael Payton. Payton, huh? Michael Payton. 
He wasn't half bad, Wheel Man. Half bad. <laughs> if I recall, he managed to outrun you and every other cop in this city. And he did a lot of work for you, right? That's right. But Peyton had an uh, unfortunate attack of morality. He calls himself Joe Astor now. He's become a real problem for us. And you want me to kill him? <laughs> Not ideally. Uh, I'd prefer to have our consultants question him first. I want you to steal the Viper. <laughs> No offense, Mr. Uh, Cassidy, but uh, with what? It's the Firehawk. A military prototype abandoned when its mother company went under. It's fast, it's armored, it's armed. Sure, you could level a city block with this thing, but you got a problem. How are you going to deal with a Viper's defensive hardware? Well, that's why I've arranged to bring Julian Wilkes here to customize the Firehawk. Wilkes. He resigned from Metropole when the project went to hell. Hasn't worked since. We'll offer an incentive. Cash. <laughs> His life. <laughs> I'll tell you what. When it comes time to twist his arm, you can count me in. If it wasn't for Julian Wilkes, I never would have ended up in the joint. They rejected my loan application, Mara. I'm supposed to reapply next year when the government incentives start. Yeah, of course I'm disappointed. I really want to start this company. Yeah, me too. Look, I'll be home soon, honey, okay? Yeah, bye. Deactivate phone. Sorry, Julian. Your phone's off the hook, but you're not. Now, Julian, my wife is a terrible shot. But I'll bet at this range, she's Annie Oakley. Let's roll. Uh, we'll navigate. Oh, relax, Julian. If we were gonna kill you straight away, we never would have driven to this picturesque locale. However, if we don't get a certain amount of cooperation, this is a fine and quiet place to squeeze off a couple of shots, isn't it? You're trying to get a ransom out of this. I don't have a lot of money. Oh, no, 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 no. This isn't a leave the non-consecutive bill from the phone booth kidney. No, as a matter of fact, we're willing to pay you very generously for your time. What? Mm -hmm. Our employers would like you to take out the Viper. Your employers? For the outfit, you mean? You have everything you need to retrofit and reprogram the Firehawk to neutralize the Viper's defenses. Forget it. Firehawk stands for everything I've worked against all my life. It's an urban assault vehicle, an offensive weapon. Huh, I see. A moral dilemma. You can both go to hell. Oh, oh, I really wish you hadn't said that. Oh, what a terrific family! Arnie, don't start again. My biological clock isn't even ticking yet. Ticking? <laughs> Honey, you're sleeping through the alarm. Oh, just keep it up, Arnie. See what kind of a night you're gonna have. You get the picture? Just leave them out of this. Terrific. So we understand the way things are going to work around here. Look, even if I can set up the systems, it won't match the speed of the Viper. And with Astor behind the wheel, nothing could compete with the Viper. Nobody made the Viper perform like I did Wilkes, and you know it. Van Hook. Just one more outfit flunky, huh? Hey, we're working together again, Wilkes. When we're finished, you're gonna pay for railroad me into the joint. Now you put your girlfriend in the hospital, not me. All I did was tell a court of law what everyone in Metropole already knew, that you're an unstable, dangerous psychopath. All right, that's enough. Hey, stay out of my way, sweetheart. We keep our personal grudges outside. And if you threaten my wife again, I'll kill you. You don't have to play macho for me, Arnie. Phone home. I want you to call your wife and tell her that 
You were called away on business and... Yeah, the, the, the foreign investors are uh, going to be out of town after the weekend. And that you'll call her tomorrow and give her an update. Yo, Amara? There. I hope I didn't call you at a bad time, but I didn't know what else to do. Slow down. What's wrong? I think Julian's in trouble. How do you mean? Well, he called to say that he was going out of town on a business trip. And just like that. But he didn't come home to pack his bag or ask me to make arrangements. No, that doesn't mean he's... Joe, the last thing Julian said to me was tell Uncle Walter that I'll see him next week. His uncle's been dead for years. Mara, uh, I hope there's another explanation, but... He may have been kidnapped. Oh, my God. But, but why? If you can't nail the Viper, maybe go after the designer. The outfit? He should be okay, as long as they think he's had nothing to do with the Viper since he left Metropole. Look, uh, keep the kids inside and stay put until I get back to you. I'll try to arrange for some security. Okay. And, uh, Mara, don't worry. We'll get through this. I'll find Julian. Okay. Joe, I didn't expect you'd call so soon. Neither did I. Listen, something's happened. You help me out with this and I'll owe you one. Hey, drop the Allison virus lamp, bit, or you're gonna go through the looking glass like nobody's business. Nash, how's the stuccoing going, huh? What are you gonna do tonight, read roof? Well, you really did it this time, Waters. Computers were down for a whole day before we wiped the virus from the system. Yeah, can I tell you something, Nash? I'm still serving my mea culpas here. My computer is still infected. Well, that's what you get for buying a demo model. What time do you get off tonight? Huh? Well, now, don't get any ideas. We just need a fifth for the bowling team. Oh, uh, yeah, you know, I'm real sorry, but I'm gonna have to put in a late one just to catch up. I'll tell you what, how about a rain check? Oh, sure, Water. It's just gonna be a long, dry season. Joe. Joe, please. A little discretion, huh? I mean, no offense, but I shouldn't be seen consorting with a known felon. Anything about Julian? Zip. Can I tell you something? These guys are thorough. They even turned off his anti-theft tracking device, and I checked the impound lot statewide for the van. Okay, he disappeared after he left the bank. I'll put a track on him, but I'm not expecting much. Hey, listen, what about Mara and the kids? You know, no, I could no, no, enlist no, a few of my thicker neck car club buddies to uh, look after him. I already moved the family to a safe house. Listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need some backup. I want you to get out to the power station whenever you can, okay? A formal summons? That's right. Joe, I won't let you down. You carry this much firepower, innocent people are gonna get hurt. As long as we nail the Viper, I don't give a damn about innocent people. What is this? It's the new core configuration. Not with the hard drive directly connected to the external ports. They'll be shielded. We take a pulse missile. This thing shuts down. I was getting to that. The hell you were. Now, I want a feedback mechanism that turns the pulse back at him. Don't play games, Julian. The sooner we take down the Viper, the sooner you're back with your family, yeah? Don't worry about him. He's not fooling anybody. He's not gonna get out of this thing alive either. All right, all right, Van Hook, just relax. We're the ones getting paid for making the threats around here. Jules? Enlighten me, Jules. How much longer? A few hours. Oh, great. Great. 
Listen, uh, what's the best way to contact Astor? When we worked together, we had a secret frequency. Why? So we can bait the trap, of course. Nice night for a drive. Who the hell is this? How'd you get this frequency? Remember Julian Wilkes? Yeah, what about him? Well, I got him and a bomb in the same place. Am I supposed to give a damn? Yeah, maybe not. But somehow I don't think you'd let an innocent man suffer for your sins. You'll find Wilkes at Fifth and Bridge Street. Pedal to the metal, buddy. Debut. Don't start with me, Neville. You had him, and you screwed him. Hey, maybe if your husband was a real man, you wouldn't be such a... You know, even with all that firepower, you still couldn't deliver. You said the Viper would shut down if the static pulse had been sent back in here. It did, but who knew every system would be... You're not all along! You've got to stop taking everything so personally. I don't trust him. And if he blows it again, he's a dead man. I need some air. <sighs> Men. Baboons barking at each other across the plain. Okay, Julian. We gotta get to work now. Work with us. Or do I have to show you that family video again? Frankie, take a look at this thing. It's a Viper VidCam feed. Oh, talk about a muscle car. What is it? Beats me. I thought you had intimate knowledge of anything on wheels. Detroit, yes. Pentagon, no. Pentagon? It's got military all over it. I'll run the data through the super search. Come on. 
But this is government territory. You understand, Joe? You did not see me do this. Capiche? Mm -hmm. Mickey, what do you know about something called the consortium? Officially, nada. But I've heard things. They're on the square, Joe. Sort of an anti-outfit, if you will. What do you ask? No, they stuck a flyer on my screen door. Voila, the Firehawk, a prototype built by Foxcroft Industries for the Army. Foxcroft was rumored to be outfit owned. Classified or not, I want you to break into every file you can on this. Weapon systems, running gear, navigation specs. We gotta find some kind of weakness, Frank. Chink in the armor. It's a parasite missile to take out the driver without killing him. Yeah, you'd need half a dozen direct hits with ordinary shells to slow the Viper down. But you make contact with this, puncturing the car's alloy casing, and it interacts with the electrical system, overriding the computer brain. Wait a minute, Wilkes. What are you saying? The parasite gives me control of the Viper from inside the Firehawk? As long as there's no interference in the signal between the vehicles. <laughs> Ironic, isn't it, Wilkes? First you build the damn car, and then you destroy it. You know, from these specs here, the Firehawk is pretty basic issue. I mean, it's designed. She's not as sophisticated as the Viper. That must be it, then. They kidnapped Julian to upgrade the Firehawk to put the Viper out of commission. Trying to send us a signal. Morse code, maybe? Hey, forgot my Morse code the minute I passed Tenderfoot. Hey, wait a minute. Play that again. What? It's touch tone code. My sister and I used to do this. Drove my old man nuts. Telephone numbers go with letters that make up the message. Now we run the numbers through the computer for the possible combinations. You get an answer here in a minute, Joe. Jabberwock. Poked out my eyes. Haven't I had enough of this this past week? Okay, what about Jabberwock? I think Julian wants us to use the virus. But to shut down the Firehawk? Makes sense. Yeah, but how do we get the virus into the Firehawk? I don't know. It's my guess. Cover me, Joe. Delia. Joe, I have some information for you. This is Eric Von Hook. One of the original project drivers before you came on. He was in jail for assault. Now, I can confirm that it's related to the kidnapping, but he was just released. And we believe his parole was arranged by Lane Cassidy. Cassidy, the charity guy? Public consumption, Cassidy plays the pillar of society. But he is as crooked as they come, and totally untouchable. The outfit runs this city from the top. I think that was Van Hook driving the Firehawk. The Firehawk? Yeah, it's an assault vehicle. They're pitting it against the Viper. Delia, how's Mara and the kids? Well, very well, considering. She wants to speak to you. Mara, how are you and the girls? We're fine, Joe. In a safe place, thanks to Delia. 
But I've been thinking about what Julian said on the phone. When he was a boy, his Uncle Walter had a barber shop down on Maple Street near the old ironworks. Maybe Julian was trying to pass us a clue. Tell us where he is. I'll check it out. And Mara, you'll have Julian back soon. It's a promise. So, ex-commander Delia Thorne is now fronting for the consortium, huh? Can I tell you something, Joe? I'm intrigued, but not surprised. You know, basically, Thorne's a good egg. Yeah. Well, hold down the fort, will you? And keep me on line. As you like it, Chief. Uh, by the way, would it be completely out of the question if I order Chinese from here? Frankie, I just passed the ironworks. You got the building title list yet? Yeah, but most of the joints in that neighborhood have been dark for years. No listed tenants, marked for demolition. Oh, wait a minute, Joe. Can I tell you something? This is weird. A building just north of you requested immediate hookups from water and power just a couple days ago. Sounds worth a shot. Another cigarette? They want Wilkes killed when we're finished. What'd you expect, sweetheart? If you can't do it, give me the gun. Iris, what are you doing? What was that thing? Damn it! That was Aster! He's found us! Viper has to channel through the fire. 
Firehawk. What? The Jabberwocky thing. Slam it through now. Snatch, do your stuff! On a little virus, Van Hook. When you took over the Viper, we both got infected. Arnie, my love, I believe the party's over. I'll say goodbye to our host. See you around, pal. What? When the going gets tough, the Nevelsons get going. What do you think, honey? Are we losing our edge? You okay? Fine, fine. Backup system kick in? I was worried you wouldn't get it. I scratched the virus protection disc in the Firehawk so it'd be vulnerable for just a few minutes. Who the hell was that flying out of here? The Nevelsons, your friendly neighborhood kidnappers. Be right back. No, no, let them go. With all that commotion outside, we can have cops and outfit soldiers all over us any minute. Okay, that'll wipe everything on the Firehawk and the Viper from the outfit's files. Let's get out of here. So what'd they offer you? Money, power, prestige? <laughs> yeah, yeah, tons. 
Well, all I got is three women waiting for you. I'll take that deal. Hey! 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 Oh, I didn't know it. Oh, I missed you so much. <laughs> hey, you make some room in here. Oh. Oh. Julian, are you all right? Uh, I am now, thanks. <laughs> well, Van Hook's in custody, but I'm afraid Julian's kidnappers escaped through the net for now. So, have you thought about my proposal? I'll talk it over with Julian, but I think we can work something out. Good. <laughs> Because that's only a small part of what we're trying to protect, Joe. No, you didn't miss me. Yes, I did. <laughs>